I'd now like to introduce our convocation speaker, a very, very important person for us. Dorothy Dot Maver, PhD, is an educator and peace builder whose keynote is inspiring cooperation on behalf of the common good. Dot is a founding trustee of the National Peace Academy USA and is a founder and board member of the Global Alliance for Ministries and Infrastructures of Peace and of the River Phoenix Center for Peacebuilding, which is doing some wonderful work in Florida at the local level with schools and with gangs. Her work in education, politics, and grassroots community organizing is focused on applied peacebuilding, utilizing a shared responsibility and a shared leadership model. From 2005 to 2007, Dot served as Executive Director of the Peace Alliance and the Campaign for a U.S. Department of Peace. And prior to that, she was the National Campaign Manager for Kucinich for President in 2004. But many would know, or might know, I learned, to know Dot for another reason. In the world of fast-pitch softball, Dr. Dot is known for her revolutionary fast pitch hitting technique. Google this, I did, it exists. The Maver Method, Secrets of Hitting Success. She is co-author of the book Conscious Education, The Bridge to Freedom, is a fellow in the World Business Academy, and serves on the boards of LifeBridge Foundation and Cosmos Associates. Dot also serves on the United Nations International Day of Peace NGO Education Peace Team, the International Cities of Peace Advisory Council, the Inamori Center for Ethics and Excellence, and uh, the Summer Peace Wisdom Council. Let me say Dot is a dear friend and a supporter of our school, she is partnering with us by helping us build the first residential cottages on the site and in this way she is helping us to make our vision of point of view, a civilian Camp David, a reality. It is my honor and pleasure to invite her now to deliver the 2016 SCAR Convocation. Thank you for that very kind, and I must say, even to me, lengthy introduction. <laughs> the pressure's on. Uh, it is such a joy to be here with all of you today. One more time, congratulations, graduates. And congratulations and gratitude to family, friends, faculty, and all at George Mason University whose vision, encouragement, and inspiration supported you along the way. You take your place now with so many, and you've been working towards it so effectively, who are helping to institutionalize peace, to build peace, and to make violence history. The School for Conflict Analysis and Resolution provides such a stellar opportunity for matriculation. SCAR is one of the premier peace studies programs in the USA, and for that matter, in the world. In fact, you will receive no better education or credentials in the field than from this well-respected institution. You chose well. And I wish to honor one more time those sitting behind me, some of the leading faculty, not just through SCAR, SCAR is a premier institution, but doing projects around the world and research that is making such a difference. Please. Knowing the thought leaders and outstanding researchers and scholar practitioners on this faculty, I am certain that you are already making a positive difference in the world in your own right, even as you prepare for your next steps post-graduation. Having said that, you are stepping out now into a most challenging world. We are experiencing an all-systems breakdown 
And yet, ultimately, that is the good news. You are well equipped to offer your contribution as we build the new civilization, for it's also an all systems breakthrough moment, local to global. It's an exciting time to be in this field. I'm honored to be present with you at this significant moment in your life. And I'm here to remind you that you have a unique contribution to make in this world and that you are needed. Never before has humanity been so conscious of itself. We are so aware of what we are doing and what is happening worldwide in any given moment. My best guess is that many of you have cell phones active even right now. <laughs> I know. It's hard to go 45 seconds, never mind 45 minutes without mine. And yet we struggle in this bell curve moment, this time of great change on this beautiful planet we all call home. It's a time of shifting worldviews as we move from living during a time of building our individualization to a time of working in groups. We have reached a pinnacle of doing well as individuals. Now it is time to be global citizens, team players. Hence the softball analogy. You are made up of the substance of the stars. And when you look up at the night sky and say, Hail, brothers and sisters, you are part of a magnificent stream of life that operates in a greater rhythm than any individual star. So it is for human beings. It is time for offering our unique contributions on behalf of the common good in a greater rhythm than our own individual lives. And you are, and you will continue to help lead the way. Think of a caterpillar as it goes through the chrysalis experience. That is what is happening for humanity right now. Some of us are desperately trying to save that caterpillar. That caterpillar needs to transform. Others are visioning a butterfly and living a new story into realization. Energy follows thought. It is solutions-oriented thinking, building on the learnings of the past while focused on the new emerging story that moves us through into the future. And there is nothing more important than all of you as demonstration models of peace. Understanding that the very essence of life is relationships. Ultimately, our success as peace builders rests on our capacity to live that very realization. As ESCAR graduates, you are helping to write the script of the new story. A story that more truly reflects and expresses who we are, essentially. A story that empowers everyone, everywhere, in every walk of life, to learn how to resolve conflict through healthy communication in relationships, thus breaking the cycle of violence and creating the conditions for a culture of peace. Living in right relationship with self, others, and all life, building safe, resilient communities. A story that honors and celebrates diversity, social justice, and peace. You see, there's a difference between the principle of conflict and the principle of decision. And if people are forced to make decisions while conflict still exists for them, the consequences are dire. This understanding is at the core of the gift you as ESCAR graduates offer to the world. It's an understanding that many have yet to fully take in or grok. I'm going to use a very simple example. Before I do that, I want to acknowledge that if I were to invite any one of these faculty up to speak, they could share not just one, but many stories of profound peace building through research and as scholar practitioners. 
So on the playground, a teacher can force a decision, can force a bully to stop bullying. Yet that does not change the attitude of the bully, nor does it change the future behavior of the bully, which will likely be more bullying. If the tools of conflict analysis and resolution are wisely and compassionately utilized, if you connect and not try to convince, if you meet every situation with an open heart and open mind, understanding that unmet needs drive behavior, inviting dialogue and deep listening, then conflict ultimately gets resolved. There's a chance for a decision that is not forced. The bully will likely have a change of heart and thus a change of mind. Therefore, how they act will be different. Each one of you holds a key to supporting these shifting attitudes, leading to changing behaviors, which in turn leads to cultural norms shifting and ultimately to rules, regulations, and policy change that serves the common good. Thank you for choosing to study here and for choosing a field that is still building itself and defining itself. Your job description as an SCAR graduate is magnificent. As a peace builder, through harmlessness, support of one another's special gifts, and joyfulness in creative conflict analysis and resolution, you actually get to help build a world that works for everyone. It touches me deeply to be standing in front of all of you in this moment in time when things are so challenging out here. And there, I have great hope for our collective future, and you are part of that inspiration and hope. Perhaps you are familiar with the writings of Eddie Hillesum from Diaries of Her Life in Amsterdam during the German occupation just prior to her death in Auschwitz. Eddie spoke to my heart a long time ago. Today, may she speak to yours. Ultimately, we have just one moral duty, to reclaim large areas of peace in ourselves, more and more peace, and to reflect it towards others. So, as you celebrate a well-deserved graduation, and as you prepare to step out into this world and offer your unique contribution, May you have the courage to be true to your calling. May the wisdom of your heart lead the way. And may the strength of purpose guide you as you find, or in many cases, create your work, your service in this new emerging civilization. All best wishes as the journey continues. And may the storyteller in each one of you, always remember, everything is possible as long as you live in a greater rhythm of life.